Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm filming a very exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be filming my monthly favorites for the month of June. It is now July 5th, so I wanted to go ahead and hurry up and film this video for you guys. Just because I don't get favorites every month, and so I don't film them every month, but when I do have accumulation of products, I like to go ahead and show you what I've been loving. And so yeah, I have everything from skincare, makeup, and some random favorites that I would like to throw in at the end, some music favorites, stuff like that, and some snacks that I've been loving. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's go ahead and get started. So my first favorite is this UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil from Sunday Riley. I love this so much. It has changed my skin like dramatically like I could see a difference whenever I don't use it and basically what it says on the front is that it's for the management of prevention of acne blackheads and 1.5 sicilic acid medication dry oil, dry oil cl clears and congested pores and so basically I got this because I tried the Sunday night oil Sunday Riley night sleeping oil or something like that and a lot of people like that one I also liked it but I feel like it didn't really do big dramatic differences on my skin and this one says it's mainly for like clogged pores like oily skin acne prone and so I feel like this one's geared more towards my kind of skin type and I love it it really controls my acne and whenever I do break out like on the time of the month it helps clear it out faster and it also I feel like it makes my pores smaller whenever it sinks into my skin and it gets a nice plumbing effect at night whenever I put it on and I just been loving this lately let me know if you guys want to see a skincare routine but if you have acne prone skin or even more younger skin the mature skin I would go ahead and give this a go it's a really good product so the next skincare product I have is this Ulla Hendrickson Invigorating Night Transformation Dough. I'm not going to say too much about this product just because I do have a fully dedicated video to this product on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked down below. But basically what I'm saying in that video is this is a dupe for the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley, which is more than half the price. It's like almost $200. This one's only $48, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but yeah, it's basically the same thing and it does amazing things to my skin. It helps with texture, acne scars, and also anti-aging. I just really, really love this product. And it's just a nice packaging. It comes with a pump and it's glass and I just love this. It's like gold. These two on my face is just magic. Okay, so after that, I like to use this, and this is the Ola Hendrickson Transform Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer, and I love this. And the reason I wanted to put this in my favorites is because this has been a favorite for a while now, but I never mentioned it because I was always trying to find something else. And so yeah, in my last haul, I actually purchased the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream because I heard really good reviews on that, and that product is what made me fall in love with this even more. It's crazy. Once I stopped using this and started using something else, I really realized how much I loved this one. That one was a good moisturizer, but I feel like it's geared more towards dry skin because it felt more like a balm and it was more heavy and I felt like it didn't soak into my skin. So I ended up returning that one and going back to my holy grail, which is this one. And as you can see, I love this moisturizer. I'm almost out and already have a backup right here because I do not want to run out of this stuff. But yeah, I love this and I'm actually going to have a review on this just because I found out a lot of things that my skin likes about this and I don't really mention skincare on my channel, which I'm trying to change. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a review over this on my channel, so be on the lookout for that. Just because I looked it up on YouTube and not many people talk about this product or have reviews. So I would love just to show people what this really can do. And so yeah. And so last but not least for skincare, I have this Insta-free, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's an orchid enriched cream. And basically this is like an Asian brand and I got it off of Amazon and it looks like this. It's a really like jelly formula and I love this. I got this as an eye cream, but I believe it's for everywhere, like on your skin, but I only use it under my eyes and on my neck. I especially love it for on my neck. It's one of those creams that like stays there forever, just keeps hydrating, and it feels like, like, I don't know, like you put jelly on your neck and it, oh, I don't know, it just feels so good and hydrated and it also feels really good on the eyes as well. I don't know if it has caffeine in it or anything, I don't really know the ingredients because it's like all in a different language right here, um, but I love it. 
And I basically researched on YouTube like best eye cream and this ended up popping up and I ended up trying it My boyfriend uses it as well But you do want to have a light hand when you use it under your eyes just because if you use too much You can get those little chicken skin bumps and you don't want that but I especially love it on my neck I feel like my neck is always nice and hydrated because of this product and it's really important to take care of your neck Just because a lot of people forget about that area and then so when they get older they have really deep set lines and so I don't want that to happen to me so I've really been liking this as well. Okay, so now jumping into makeup, my first makeup product that I have is my Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. And oh, I've been loving this so much and I never thought I would just because I'm an oily combination girl and this just seems like it would be nice and dewy. But it is so natural and beautiful on the skin and it's just so easy to use. I feel like that's the reason why I use it so much is because it's just very convenient. With other foundations, you have to pump it out or if you have to draw it on your face with like if it's a stick, you have to like draw it on your face. And this is just so easy because all you have to do is open it. It comes with a little poof that I never use. But all you just have to open it and dip your beauty blender in there and apply it on your face. It's just so easy and I feel like that's why I use it so much. But I even love this so much to where I'm mixing it with my foundations now. You guys know that my Holy Grail foundation is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. So what I actually did today is I'll like draw this on my face and then I'll go back in with this and blend it out. And it just helps blend out the cream. And it also just gives that really nice pretty effect on the skin. If you haven't tried this, I would give it a go. It's a little bit more on the pricey side for... Um, drugstore, I believe it's like 13 to $15. One bad thing about it though, I feel like I'm already running out of it and I've only had it for a little while. I don't know if it's because I use a lot of it or it's because this actually does have less than an original foundation. It only has 0.51 ounces, so it doesn't even have one full ounce. That's the only thing that I have a problem with with this foundation. So it might be in an empties video soon, but I've been loving this. And basically for concealer, I've just been using my Tarte Shape Tape. Moving on to highlights, my favorite highlight this week, I've actually been trying out a lot of different highlights just because if you've seen in my previous hauls, I've picked up like different drugstore ones and stuff like that. So this month, I've really just been trying out different ones. So I don't exactly have a favorite powder highlight yet, but this one I know for sure I love. This is the Cover FX Custom Hanser Drops in the shade Moonlight. Every time I do a full glam, I love to use this. It is a little bit more tedious just because you have to pull it out and drop it on your face and blend it out. And it does take a little bit while to blend. But once you get it on there, it's just so beautiful. You can put it over powder, you can put it under powder. And it's just so nice and foiled. But then when you do blend it out, it looks very natural on the skin. And let me go ahead and show you what the color looks like. So it starts off really foiled like that, but once you blend it in, it just turns into this really beautiful glow on the skin. And what's really nice about that is if you have oily skin also, um, I found that you could still bake on top of this product. And then whenever you do rub the bake away, it doesn't go away like you could still see that glow I don't know if it's just because it dries matte because when it does dry it dries like powdery it shines through your powder so that's also really cool because you could still bake and like control your oil but you could still have that nice pretty glow for summer so I've really been liking that now next up I have a bronzer and this is what it looks like this is a physician's formula bronze booster in light to medium I've really been loving this I've actually stopped using it for a little while just because you guys know from my last haul I picked up the Becca one so I've been trying this one out but before that I was using this every single day just because I loved it so much it's such a nice drugstore bronzer it's a nice brown tone and it's a warm but it's not too warm to where you look like a oompa loompa it doesn't swatch very well but on the skin it just melts and makes you look tan and nice I'll have a video link down below if you want to see it like in action and I'll label it like me using the bronzer or something but I just love this and if you haven't tried it it's really really good and so yeah that is a favorite next up for powder I've been loving my Cody airspun loose face setting powder so I love the way this makes my skin look and I love the way it applies I love the price tag I love everything about it but I hate the smell but since I've been using it more this month I am getting used to it so it's not as bad as like when I first started using it so I am using it more often than I did and so yeah, I've just been loving this month. I switch between this one and my Laura Mercier just depending on what I'm feeling that day. But if you haven't tried it, 
I love it and it's called translucent extra coverage you can find it at Walmart that's where I found mine but what sucks about this product is I'm scared it might be giving me a little bit of bumps just because it does have that fragrance in there and I feel like it it causes a little bit irritation on my skin. I don't know, I'll have to keep testing it out and seeing if that's actually what's causing it. But that's the only downside to this is the smell and the, like the scent in the ingredients. And so yeah, that's a favorite. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to mention this. <laughs> this is a favorite. I use it, oh, I've been using it a lot this month. It's the Equal Tools Blending Sponge and it looks like this. Mine's dirty because I just used it to foam this look. But I've really been liking this. It's nice and stiff, but it's still spongy enough to blend out your foundation. At first, I didn't like it for that reason. Like, I didn't like blending it with my foundation just because I felt like it was stiff. But once I started using it more, I fell in love. I only used to use it to, like, spray with some Fix Plus and then to bake under my contour right here. But now I use it for basically everything, foundation, concealer. Um, it is a little bit difficult to get, like, right in the inner corner with this just because it's straight. But... I found if you just go to the side like this and then go down like that, it's amazing and you can even use it to clean up your eyeshadow. And so yeah, I've really been loving this sponge. I believe it was like six bucks, so it's super affordable. And then it even comes with this little stand, which I think is neat because you could just use it to hold your sponge. So I've really been liking that. Now next up for my eyebrows, I have been loving my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I haven't used this in a while, but I've been using it all this month just because I did run out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I feel like you run out of those things like crazy, like you have to buy one every like week or something. Like It just runs out so fast and they break very easily. Mine is broken, let me show you. My little spoolie broke, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell and it's just it's a pain in the ass, basically. So I've been using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and I fell back in love with it. I just use it with an angled brush, and I do a very light coating on my brows. And this shit does not move. It's basically waterproof, and I love it. And this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. It's just a gel kind of pomade. And yeah, so I've really been liking that for my brows. And then for eyeshadow, I've been loving these four single eyeshadows. I use this on my eyes every single day just because I do the same look every single day for work. Um, on my days off is when I like to play around with makeup, like today. Um, but for an everyday basis, I've been loving these four shadows. So this one right here I use as a transition shade, and this one is Frappe from Makeup Geek. And I just popped it in this palette and took one of the Anastasia eyeshadows out because this is a Anastasia palette if you didn't know. And then the rest are Anastasia, so this one is Morocco, and this one is Fudge, and this one is Beauty Mark. So what I'll do is use this in my transition shade, and then I'll use this in the crease, and then depending on that day, I'll either use this in the outer corner or I'll use Beauty Mark. It just depends on what I'm feeling that day, but this is just what I use on my lids. I only use this, and I'll use some translucent powder just to go ahead and set my eyes before I start using this, and it's just amazing. I use it every single day. So last but not least, for my makeup products for lips I've really been loving these two babies right here so the first one is Dose of Colors Truffle and I'm actually wearing this one right now and if I'm not wearing this one I am wearing this one and this one is Max Velvet Teddy and if you haven't seen it I'll go ahead and swatch it but it's just a really pretty brown with some pink in it. It's just a nice nude and every time I'm wearing this someone always asks me what are you wearing on your lips and I'm like Mac Velvet Teddy and what I love about this is you can really throw it on without like having to try. You don't even need a lip liner and it looks so good so I've really been liking that and then also the one I'm wearing on my lips so I don't really need to swatch it and this is what it looks like and yeah I've just really been loving these two for my lips. If I'm not wearing one I'm wearing the other Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to like the random favorites. So I have a snack that I really want to mention to you guys. So these are Quest Bars and as you can see they have different flavors. I buy a whole bunch of different flavors just so I could try them because I love these protein bars. So each one of these babies has 20 grams of protein and I don't know about you guys but I have a really hard time hitting my protein just because my protein is so high and my carbs are so low. So I've really been loving these as a snack. So what my favorite thing to do is either I'll get a crazy flavor and just eat that by itself or I'll get like a more chocolatey sweet flavor and I'll go ahead and cut that into individual pieces and then I'll go ahead and put it in a fruit bowl. So I'll add some strawberries 
and a little bit of grapes and some peanut butter and then I'll mix it around with my protein bars and it just makes the most amazing snack. And you'd think it would be a lot of carbs but it's actually not because strawberries are very low in carbs and I only put a little bit of the grapes in and then it's packed with protein because it does have the peanut butter and also the protein bar and so it makes you nice and full in the morning because I don't know about you guys but when you watch like healthy breakfast ideas they're always like eat a fruit bowl eat some strawberries and I'm like that does not make me full if I eat some strawberries by themselves, I'm gonna be hungry in like two seconds so when I add the protein bars and the peanut butter and everything it makes me nice and full but I'm still getting that like healthy snack so I've really been liking that <laughs> So I thought I would mention it to you guys, but yeah, these are just really good protein bars and I suggest you check them out. You could get them at Vitamin Shop, but also Walmart is carrying them now, so I just get them whenever I get my groceries, which is really nice. And so yeah, I've been loving those. Okay, so last but not least, I want to go ahead and show you some of my music favorites for this month. Just because I've really been liking music, it just puts you in such a good mood. And so I'm going to show you what I've been liking. Okay, so the first song I've been liking is Humble from Kendrick Lamar. I've really been liking this this month. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwich. My left stroke just went viral. Right stroke, put the baby in a spiral. Show me something natural like ass with some stretch marks. Still a dick you fell right on your mama couch and all those signs. Hey, this shit way too crazy. Hey, you do not that makes me hey. Okay, so the next song I've been liking is Despacito um, with um, Luz Fonsi and Daddy Yankee and Justin Bieber. But I'm pretty sure next week I'll just be annoyed because they play this so much on the radio. But for now, I've really been liking it. Part. Okay guys, so I don't know if you know the song because it's a kind of an old song, but I really love listening to this when I'm working out because I just feel like I'm in a party or something. And it's This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. Okay guys, so that was all my favorites. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. And yeah, I'm actually filming this makeup look on my next video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.